right, bye. <coughs> Today, we have freaking styrofoam head. Big old hole in the map. We got one of these suckers. And then, carry your little fat body over here. A big old container of fake blood. I'm chewing four pieces of gum at once. Guess what we're gonna do today? <laughs> Took me like two days to paint this head. I took like an hour to carve it out. Let's go, boys. All right, I would do a time lapse of me setting all this up, but I gotta charge the camera's battery, so you know. That is the aftermath of this experiment. It's pretty gruesome. So, on a success scale from 1 to 10, I'd give this experiment like a 6. Uh, there was a lot of failed attempts, and the fishing line kept, kept coming off without the big brain dribbly bits. But overall, it looked pretty good. And the fake blood definitely added the element I was looking for. It looked gory, and it looked like there were tendrils and crap coming out. So, realistic, no, but cool and gory, yeah. I could definitely see myself using that effect in the future, maybe in an actual film type scenario. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the end result. Looked pretty good. Only gripe is that the tape came off way too easily. That's something I'd have to fix in the future. I ended up using gaff tape. Even that slipped up a little bit, but I was able to make that work. But gaff tape will not be discreet. So, I'll look into a solution for that. I can only imagine what my neighbors think of me right now. Because I was just in the middle of my yard pulling fake brain guts out of a styrofoam head. And basically for entertainment. I might need therapy.